to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen we are fixing to leave Calgary. Just gotta back up. Make sure my tires are not locked, right? Or brakes are not locked. Yeah, that's right. And it is snowing. Yeah, that kind of sucks, but hey, what can you do, eh? That's right, what can you do when it's snowing? Not much, but at least it's not snowing like crazy. Maybe just enough to make it a little slippery, but what are you trying to do? Leaving your spot just to go on to another spot? <laughs> I guess so. Oh well, that's all right, I guess. Yeah, so let's see if we can uh, get out of Calgary. Let's hit the road and see what happens. I looked at the radar and uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of snow or it's not snowing further towards BC. I think it's not even up to the BC, Shibo uh, BC uh, border yet, so uh, it might be all right. The only problem is we don't have a whole lot of hours to go today. In 200 meters, turn left on 32 Avenue. Yeah. yeah that's true. Oh, that doesn't look good. Not too sure if that rear tire is actually turning. Yeah, I just took a look at it when I turned here, and yeah, she is turning. Everything is turning. I kind of thought so because it didn't feel like anything was dragging, but then again, you never know, right? You just got to make sure that everything is in good order. So we are going to try and make our way down to uh, British Columbia today. The only problem is, like I said, we only have five and three quarter hours to do it in. And we got 523 kilometers to go to our delivery. So if they would allow me to stay right there till tomorrow, then I could actually uh, deliver my load today, but there really isn't anything where I can stay at, you know? So we might just have to wait till tomorrow to deliver that load. But anyways, we'll just have to see how it goes. I'm gonna have to call him up later and see what he says. Alrighty guys, here we are in British Columbia. Look at that. <clears throat> we are in the mountains and we are actually at a uh, at a brake check right now. I already did my uh, walk around. Oh, smokes. There's an, uh, other truck coming up here. They're all doing brake checks, right? They're supposed to anyways. And so I already checked my lights and all that. So here we are, it's not really that cold out here. That's why you see me with no uh, shirt on, but it's kind of like light flurries out here today. So I'm just walking around with you guys just to show you everything a little bit. <clears throat> a lot of snow out there. Just got the snow plow all up to here. Oh, look at that guy's uh, brakes are smoking, eh? Yeah, look at that guy, he must have been braking really hard. Now they kind of block me in, I can't really get out. Oh man, look at them bricks. Yeah, he must have been really stepping on them bricks, eh? But anyways, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna try and get back on the road if we can. So we'll see you all a little bit later. Alrighty guys, here we are going downhill. This is why we had to uh, do a little bit of a brake check up there. We, uh, are uh, going downhill and it's a pretty bad uh, going down I guess downgrade or whatever you want to call it yeah so we're kind
kind of have to uh, go slow a little bit and that's the reason why we have to do a brake shake up there so that way we can uh, go downhill here safely right yeah it's not really slippery yet at least I haven't felt it being slippery yet but we just got our hazards on so that if cars come behind us they know we're going slow and uh, so that way uh, you know they can see us in advance you know and that's one of the reasons why I go out in the back and I clean my lights and make sure I check all my tires check my brakes a little bit you know well that's what a brake check should be for you know these other guys didn't even get out but technically you're supposed to get out and check your brakes and all that stuff so before you get to this downhill here you know but uh, anyway so I just figured I'd show you guys a little bit of a view on what we see here I know you probably don't see the mountains too much today but uh, it's because it's kind of I don't know uh, it's it's snowing you know I mean it's not really snowing a lot but there's a lot of moisture in the air so we're definitely uh, not able to see the big mountains completely but you can see the downhill there towards the right you know you see a lot of snow up here that's for sure hopefully we don't have to chain up here yet you know that's that's been my biggest fear hopefully I don't have to do that but anyways we're gonna continue on going downhill here and hope for the best you know well guys here we are going downhill a mountain again you see how they cut these rocks away so that uh, they can make the highway a little bit better yeah right after this there's a big ass bridge look at this right here really really big bridge right here and I've been across this bridge here in summertime, so you've probably seen it a little different. But hey, this is what we drive in today. And I do have my four is on because I'm a little, uh, a little bit going down, down, downhill. That's right. So we're going a little slower. We had another brake check up there a few minutes ago, so before this hill. Yeah, we got a ways to go yet. We are just before gold in BC. And this is what I call one of the dangerous, most dangerous parts of this whole highway. Really sharp corners, literally on the edge of the mountains. And we got really super, super short corners. Look at this. Straight up on the, on the right, pretty much, and straight down once you <laughs> look to the left you know pretty much that's the way it is but anyways we got about 10 kilometers before we are uh, uh, in golden and I don't remember if we have another brake check here just before we get to golden but I kind of thought it was but maybe it was the one that we just stopped at there a few minutes ago so it's definitely snowy out here that's for sure yeah anyways look at this guys this is the same stretch of the highway that I was just telling you guys about goes pretty much straight down there on to the left pretty much straight up on the right you know hopefully you can see it good this time there before it wasn't very good I think there was a little wider the highway but right here it's really narrow this is all the same stretch that uh, I was just showing you the previous clip you know extremely dangerous I would call it especially on a slippery uh, road you know but yeah well you gotta drive through it in order to get to where we gotta go you got a lot of four-wheelers up here and we're gonna come into one of them tight corners here right away again yeah you definitely have to take her easy up here, that's for sure. Look at the tight corner we got up here, you know? I mean, that's just crazy. I can't even see the bottom there towards the right, how deep it goes down, you know? Can you imagine going down there? <laughs> it's 
sliding off of this road. Look at that. Now you're going to get to see that a little bit. Wow, that's, you know, I know Chuck and Angie, I was talking to them the other day and they were really looking forward to seeing this part. Here it is. Here it is. That's right. Very interesting stretch of the highway, that's for sure. Alrighty guys, the snow is slowing down at least. I don't know if it's completely stopped yet. No, it doesn't look like it, but uh, at least it's starting to lighten up a little bit. It looks like the snow clouds have finally gone through here. So uh, the snow is a little lighter now and not as much dust flying around. So visibility has improved a little bit so we just had another brake check so that was our third one and so uh, here we are putting the hammer down as fast as we can go anyways safely right we only got about another 110 kilometers to go and then we'll be in Sycamus BC and uh, I'll just barely be able to get there with my hours and I'll be done I'll be done for today like an hour and 15 minutes worth the driving and I shall be done with driving. That's right, I'm gonna have to call my customer up, tell him that I can't make it today because it's just the road conditions, the snow and all that, it's just too much. I Steep down right ahead. Just can't go faster than what the conditions allow you, right? Because I wanna be safe out here on the road and I don't want to cause an accident and I'm sure this shipper would be or receiver would be happier to receive the product instead of not receiving it so uh, so yeah we're just going to take a real easy and yeah just whatever we can do is what we can do and that's it right but at least now you can see the mountains a little bit better before uh, it was so snowy and white, everything was so white that it was uh, kind of hard to actually see them, actual big rockies up there, you know. Here you go, now you should be able to see it real nicely up there. That's right. And we are sort of going down the hill again from the mountain, so uh, I'm going to be going down here for a little bit, so that's why we had that brick shack, right? At least that's as far as I know. I mean, I don't really have to worry too much because I don't really have a heavy load. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I think I was like 10,600 kgs on my drives or something like that. So, yeah, that's not too bad. You know, we can be 15,400 kgs in the US for drives. And a trailer, I think I was only like 6,000 kg so that means I'm only like maybe 13,000 on the trailer 13,000 pounds uh, maybe 28,000 or even less than that on the uh, on the actual drives so we're actually not doing too bad you know if we gotta go downhill it's not really pushing us too much so we're able to keep it under control no problem but uh, yeah, if you can see that right up ahead of us there, that's some big ass mountains. I can't even see all the way to the top. It's all so white up there. It's huge, huge mountains up there, that's for sure. Yeah, we're going to the bottom of the mountain right now. <laughs> yeah, so let's uh, continue on with our journey. And let's see what else we'll be able to show you. Oh, there you can see it leveling out at the bottom. Alrighty, guys, look at this. A bison truck. He went into the ditch here to the left. Oh, my goodness. Luckily, he didn't roll her off completely there. But, uh, wow. That's, <laughs> that must have been scary. I would have probably about to shit my pants. But we are rolling into Revelstock, I believe. I believe that's what it is. I might be wrong, but I think that's what it is. Yep, it's Revelstock. Yeah, so we got 71 kilometers to go and then we'll be in uh, Sycamus. That's as far as we can go. Not really much parking out here, so uh, we sort of kind of get have to continue on. 
Well, I do want to too, you know. I mean, I want to max out my hours today completely, you know. But anyways, I just figured I'd show you that a little bit. We got a red light here now, so we got to stop. And then after that, we got a bit of a hanging bridge up there. I'm kind of hoping I can show you guys that. So here we go. Let's give it a try and see if we can show you this a little bit. Just got to try and keep the windshield clear so that way you can actually see it, right? That's the plan. It's actually a little lake or a river, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it would probably be considered a river, I guess. But we do have a little bit of a bridge up here, so it's kind of neat. Everything is looking white everywhere these days, but hey, that's the way it goes. We do have a little bit of a parking area up here, but really there is not much other than maybe a washroom it looks like, so it can be kind of like a dead zone up here. That's right. Anyways, let's continue on with our journey and have some fun at it. I just got word from another driver on the CB radio that there is a truck in the ditch here on our side here just up a row on the road here he said so uh, I guess we're coming around the curve here and I guess it was slippery earlier or something so we'll uh, I guess we'll keep an eye on him or keep an eye out for him or her whatever it is and see where he's at I haven't seen him anywhere yet but Apparently they said about another two kilometers or something like that. But I mean the roads look alright right now. I mean I haven't felt anything that it's slippery or anything like that. So must have happened a little earlier maybe when it was snowing like crazy. But right now it's actually looking like it's starting to clear off. And that's the way I see it anyways. I mean I don't know. Weather can change in a split second up here, but I guess we'll just keep an eye on things. I still don't see him anywhere. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I guess eventually we'll see him. He said he was up here in about two kilometers, so we're driven that already since the other guy told us, so beats me where he's at. I don't know. I don't see nothing. <laughs> I don't know where he could be at. No idea. I mean, it's right open over here, so I mean, no sign of him. But two guys have tried to tell me that, so uh, must be out here somewhere. Eventually. And if we do see it, hopefully we'll be able to capture it on camera. And we'll show you guys. That's right. That's a plan anyways, but right now it's not really snowing at all anymore. I, the odd time you see a flurry or two coming down, but I don't really call that snowing. Maybe light, light flurries, that's about it. Just really trying to keep an eye on it, see if I can see the guy somewhere, but don't see him anywhere. <laughs> Beats me where he's at. Oh, well, I don't know if it is up here or what. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I guess it must be slippery or something. I don't know what's going on, but whoa, he knocked her out real good, eh? Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, he definitely jackknifed her. RAI is the company name. And that's right. I filmed this part before. It's like a hotel up here. And usually it's like dead in the winter time, but summertime there's usually a lot of stuff going on. So it's a little bit of a scenic area up here. So I figure may as well keep the camera on for a little bit. And this is usually where, uh, just around the bend up here. This is where they uh, sometimes have avalanches up here. Sometimes this is exactly where the road gets shut down because of avalanches. I mean, you can see literally, uh, literally, it goes straight up north, right? And they got signs up here, number one nine point six avalanche area. You know, they got signs uh, in a few places. There's another one there, just to the left here. You see them little yellow signs that are attached to the mountain up there? Avalanche path. That's what it says. But there's not enough snow right now for avalanche to come down on here. I mean, look at it. There's a little bit of snow everywhere, but. 
in order to get an avalanche you need like a couple of feet of snow usually anyways and uh, right up here on the curve you will actually see them arms where they will come down if they got avalanche dangers up here they will actually shut the highway down right here where you see it right here this is where the arms will come down and they will actually close the highway and they will throw some uh, dynamite or whatever up there and they will actually make the snow come down and then they'll clear it up and reopen the highway you know but that's the way it goes anyways I guess uh, I don't know what happened with that truck driver over there but it must have been slippery or maybe he was going too fast for that car that could also be the case that's right I guess this guy he decided he's gonna leave his trailer up here he's quitting <laughs> no I don't know I don't know what he's doing but definitely doing something but anyways I wanted to show you this part a little bit so there it is I hope you enjoy it I am in Sycamus BC British Columbia that's right well we just finished cooking our uh, big meal a hungry man that's right I'm so hungry I already had a few bites to eat and I realized well I wanted to show you guys <laughs> I haven't had anything to eat all day today so I'm kind of hungry so let's get to eating I just wanted to show you what I cooked I cooked me a little stew here so anyways we'll be right back I gotta eat I am done for today it's starting to get dark out there although it is actually fairly early up here in British Columbia still but uh, I had me a nice dinner and I checked my windshield washer fluid made sure that's all filled up I cleaned my lights because I gotta get out of here tomorrow probably when it's still dark out there you know so I figured well I'll take care of all that business and uh, Anyways, looks like we got a driver that wants to talk to me, so we'll be right back. There we go. He just finished talking to the driver there, so uh, he just wanted to know how the roads were and stuff like that because I came from Calgary, you know. So, uh, but anyways, I just figured I show close my show off here today and uh, render the video. I do have internet here, so I uh, figured well, I'll render the video and I'll uh, try and see if I can upload it to YouTube here if it works overnight. If it doesn't, I guess it doesn't, but. Uh, give it a shot anyways right my light keeps going out but uh anyways that's about all i got for today hopefully it was an okay video though today because it's been a bit of a shorter day for me at least for driving wise i think video wise it's probably a longer one than usual probably but uh whatever that's the way it goes sometimes so uh with that being said being said if i can speak right we appreciate you guys watching and if you stuck around till the end Give us a big thumbs up, hit that share button, and also if you're new to our channel, we would love it if you hit that subscribe button because then we'll uh, send you an email every time we new upload a new video. And uh, hey, we got some great content going on all the time, you know. So, uh, anyways, then uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. I'll be back at 2 a.m. and I am seven days behind, so keep that in mind. So have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.